Hello everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and today I have an exciting delivery that came to my house that I want to share with you. Now I have to tell you, it did not come like this. Probably quite obvious to you. I have to tell you how great the packaging was. But first let me tell you what's in here. What is in here are pens from the Goulet Pen Company. Now Brian Goulet has a video on his website and I will see if I can find it and link it down in the description below where he talks about his top five pick for beginner um, fountain pen users and I watched that video and he had some really inexpensive pens on there. Now I had found another pen that's coming out in April that I wanted to purchase from him and I thought well that's not a bad price it was about a $30 pen um, but when I watched that video these pens are even less expensive than that and I'll talk about my thoughts on the pens as we go on. But when this package arrived it obviously did not arrive like this. In fact, it was packaged so extraordinarily well that I want to share with you. It arrived in a priority box, perfectly appropriate, um, all packaged up. So I opened up my priority box and there was this package inside of another cardboard heavy envelope and I thought, wow, this is really taking it to the next level. But it didn't stop there because inside that envelope was this package, but it was the bubble wrap was all, it was all wrapped tightly in blue saran wrap. And honestly, I can't remember if the saran wrap was inside the bubble wrap or outside of the bubble wrap, but either way, it was packed extraordinarily well. I believe it was the bubble wrap next and then the blue. So then once you opened up on the blue, um, there were a few little goodies. There was this, and I will be writing the Goulet Pen Company about this, because it says, we packed your order with slightly ridiculous amount of care to make sure that the writing products you would love would arrive safely today. We'd love to hear what you think about how we've done at www.gouletpens.com slash packing. And I will be writing them because this package arrived in pristine condition because it was so well packed. So great job, Goulet Pen Company. Also in here was a sticker for the Goulet Pen Company. And then in here was a bookmark super cute and a dum-dum or a, not a dum-dum much better than a dum-dum a tootsie pop a mini tootsie pop and i like these much better than dum-dum so it was fabulous now inside of that we got into my pens as you see i'm a, i was a little too excited i'm going to set this one aside and come back to it um the first pen that I got and this is the preppy the platinum preppy pen this pen is really inexpensive this pen I believe was $4.95 and it came in several nibs and of cho I chose the fine nib I think I may go back because it is such an, an inexpensive pen and eventually purchase another couple of them so that I could get a feel for the different size nibs and where I can compare it with the same pen. Now, I will tell you, this is definitely, I mean, if you pay $5 for it, you need to expect that it's going to be worth about $5, although it's probably worth more than that. But it, this is not your fancy pen. This is definitely a beginner pen. The other thing I thought about that you could use this for is if, like me, in your planner, you use different colors all the time, um, these are inexpensive enough that you could probably purchase them in several colors and use them. And so it's a great little pen. I've already inserted the cartridge. I'm just going to unscrew it here and you can see that cartridge is inserted. Now they do have an option where you can convert, get a converter for the pen and they actually have um, an O-ring fitting um, converter for a couple dollars more than their normal converter where it will fill the whole body of the pen with ink somehow. Now, um, I bought this one for me, it's purple, it writes purple, and I bought the replacement cartridges for it. I also bought one in black for my husband because he wanted to try it out, but he actually has an ink bottle full of ink, and so we bought the converter kit for him. So once the original cartridge that comes in the pen wears out, um, he will go ahead and use 
his the converter in his so that is the first one like I said it's a really inexpensive pen um, and Brian Goulet definitely tells you this is an inexpensive pen so I mean you don't expect a, a high dollar pen for five dollars but I think it's it writes beautifully and we'll talk about that in a minute and I think it's it's super fun to have and a great pen for beginners so the other pen that I got is also a fairly inexpensive pen. It's the Pilot Metropolitan, and um, it came in this box. And then this is a pretty nice box for an inexpensive pen. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this pen, I believe, was $15, which is not bad, um, and it is beautiful. I chose the Purple Leopard. Um, I did not get the converter. I have not really gotten into doing the um, converting my pens to use inkwells. Uh, eventually I probably will. I just am not there yet. So um, it's it's a beautiful pen and I also got the ink um, refills for that. Now I, I'm just going to tell you typically I don't talk a lot about um, the cost of things. Well I, I, I do to some degree but um, the, everything that I bought, everything that you see here, this pen with these cartridges, this pen this set of cartridges, which there are 12 cartridges in here to refill this pen. My husband's pen with the converter set, all of it together with shipping was less than $50. So these are definitely beginner pens and it's a great place to um, start and I really applaud the Goulet Pen Company for the work they're doing with that. So let's set this aside and let's get down to the real nitty gritty and find out how it works. So I have this book and this is kind of nice paper. Um, I was actually doing some listing in it, um, but I am going to go ahead and do a pen sampling on this. We're going to start with my old faithful cross that I have. I just have a black nib and I believe this is a median, a medium nib in it. But quite frankly, it's I feel like it's pretty bold, um, and I just happen to think I think I need to change. I forgot last time I used this, I needed to change the ink in this, so um, it's not going to give us a true um, description until I get a new refill. As you can see, I'm empty, so I need to do that. But um, let me just pause the camera and I will change that out really quickly. Okay, so I'm back. Let's try that again. Let's open that up. I do not write fancy with my pens. Um, I just like to use them for regular writing. But we're just going to write a quick phrase. And you see, that's a pretty bold. It's not obviously as if it was a uh, really wide, or I don't even know. A, I, you can get bolder than the mediums, but it's still bolder than what I like. So let's put up against that. Let's put this new um, Pilot Metropolitan. And I have to tell you, this is exactly what I would use for every day. I just really like the way that that writes. Um, I like the finer... Um, lines on that and I I can really see me even using this at work for a work pen as long as I didn't lose it um, so I really like that now I have to tell you when I put the cartridge in here to begin with um, I kind of made a mess and so I'm still kind of cleaning up that mess that I made I don't know what I did but anyway that it's never happened to me before with my other pens. So now let's move to this one. Now this one is the violet, is um, the ink color that's in here for the Platinum Preppy. And it also is a fine nib. And like I said, I really think I'm going to try some other size nibs just to compare them within the same brand. But as you can see, it's also very, very fine. And it's super fun having all that color and it comes in a large variety of colors. So um, that is my Platinum Preppy and my brand new Pilot Metropolitan. I still like my um, cross pen and quite frankly um, as far as this is obviously a little bit more expensive pen it's probably a little bit better quality pen but it's also 
and I do, I will continue to use these for larger things. I think it would be great for writing letters um, or cards. It's just for the normal everyday writing I do. I like these finer points better. So um, I'm going to use these for a while um, before I decide to, if I want to get a little bit better quality pen. But I'll tell you, these are great pens for beginners and I really recommend them. And I really recommend the Goulet Pen Company. I um, purchased or I did an online order, I believe it was on Sunday, and I had it by Friday, and they are a very long ways away from where I live. Um, and like I said, it came packaged so well that if anything would have broken in there, I can't even imagine what the impact it would have taken to make that happen, because it was just packaged so well. So I highly recommend them. Check out their videos. Very knowledgeable. I learned a lot just watching them. And I can't wait to um, use um, more of their products in the future. So thanks so much for stopping by today. And remember, take some time to enjoy the little things. Have a great day. Bye.